plenty of high anxiety on Wall Street yesterday because at one moment, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dipped almost 1,000 points. That's the biggest single dip ever. Trading recovery to an extent, but what, how that happened and what might happen in the future is the question on everybody's mind. It really is, And Harry. Rebecca Jarvis is here, our economics and <laughs> business correspondent. What happened here yesterday? Well, Harry, I can tell you from a firsthand account of being on the floor right ahead of this that very little was happening. It was a relatively tame day on Wall Street. However, after this market took a mega fall yesterday, the markets around the globe have responded in Europe, in Asia, throughout the world. World right now, markets are trading lower after yesterday's roller coaster ride. It was a free fall on Wall Street. In a span of just 15 minutes, the Dow lost 700 points. At its worst, the market was down nearly 1,000, the biggest intraday point decline ever. It was probably one of the scariest things that I've seen in, in the street in close to 30 years. By 3 p.m., just 40 minutes later, it had gained much of the losses back. By the closing bell, stocks finished down a more modest 347 points. Worries over the financial crisis in Greece sparked the initial sell-off. Riots broke out in Athens after the government approved budget cuts to keep the country from bankruptcy. Investors fear Greece's troubles could spread throughout Europe, slowing a global recovery. We hope it, that the people in the European Union can come together and resolve this, that it does not turn out to be the first domino to fall. Late in the day, surprising reports that the afternoon panic and sell-off may have actually been caused by a trader hitting the wrong button on a computer. Some on Wall Street speculate an order to sell was placed in the billions instead of millions. Remember, we do a lot of computer trading down here, so that came in and just pushed the market right down. But while the cause is still under investigation, this roller coaster ride will likely spook investors. I am concerned that the volatility that people saw will make them a bit more cautious in their trading over the next couple of weeks. That could make markets thinner as fewer participants are in the game. The Securities and Exchange Commission says it is reviewing unusual trading and our Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner will participate in a call today about Greece with finance ministers throughout the world. Harry. So literally some guy who might have hit three extra zeros with a fat thumb might could it have, sounds could crazy have right yeah it sounds how is that impossible. possible it sounds implausible right now they are looking into this story because a number of folks on wall street are saying it could be very well true that this is a result of human error but it could also be the result in many cases of computerized programs which are set to trade harry mega mega amounts of stocks at any given time yeah. and they're just set without human beings even being a teeny tiny razor thin uh, fractions of a cent. In fractions uh, of, of a cent, in fractions of a second, in milliseconds, mm. trades get done right. here on the New York Stock Exchange and throughout the world. And many are saying that could have exacerbated gotcha. the downside risk here. All right, Rebecca, thank you very thank much. You. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.